I am a little hungry from all that cleaning this morning, organizing my closet. I also left to go to H Mart as well. So I got um, kimbap right here to just have. It's like two o'clock. I think I spent like all of this morning from since I got home from dropping off the kids at 9 a.m. till like 11 and then I went to the store for like an hour got some groceries and then I am here look at this this is so good this is good when you just need that little something to eat while waiting you know mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, there's spam in here too. And that is so good. Oh, I guess ham is spam. This is ham. Ham kimbap. Oh, interesting. Anywho, so I decided to organize my closet because it was getting out of hand. Yeah. From, you know, being super organized, it was just a huge mess all of a sudden. I don't know. Like, I guess when you're in a hurry, you just grab and go, grab and go, and then it just piles, piles on. And a couple of days ago, I was trying to find this tank top when we went out for, or the, the top that I was looking for when we went out for Aaron's birthday. And I just completely pulled everything down, finally found it, and it was hanging. <laughs> for some reason, that top was hanging with my pants. Yeah, and um, yeah, I was in a hurry and I couldn't find it for the life of me and I pulled everything off the shelf and left it on the floor for a few days. Um, I decided it's time to really go through some of these clothes that, number one, I don't wear. Number two, just reorganize and reset everything. So it's really nice. It's kind of like, I would say 30% done from all my sweaters and t-shirts. Um, I also took out all the heavy sweaters because every season I tend to pull the ones that I'm gonna wear this season so winter is gone so all my heavy sweaters are in my other closet which is kind of nice to see it like well organized and easy to um, look for um, yeah so that's how I organize my my stuff it's gonna be nice when everything is like organized I'm actually gonna go through my dresses and also kind of like pre-pack my um, Hawaii trip that's coming up gotta find a couple of cute dresses for dinner tops to wear and gotta look for a bathing suit <laughs> all of my bathing suit that I wore in Thailand I threw some of it out and the one favorite swimwear that I wore most in Thailand my white one got stained from this green cover-up that I wore when we were on a boat and it was like on the back of my back so I tried so hard to get it off but it just stained and I think I just left it in Thailand because I was really mad about it <laughs> so I need to find one that actually hugs your body because that one hugs your body that's why I love it and it's white and it's cute um, yeah my favorite color would be white bathing suit or black you know white and black um, so yeah, that's, that's something that we could probably do this weekend to find a bathing suit for Hawaii. I think everyone needs a new bathing suit. The ones that we wore in Thailand kind of like got stretched or stained. I also want to reorganize my handbag closet as well because I gotten rid of so many handbags you guys I cleaned it out I think I gotten rid of about nine handbags most of them Louis Vuitton um, I think I'll do a video on why I decided to let them go and um, yeah this might be a good insight if you were looking to to get yourself the same handbags that I've kind of let, let go and rehomed um, or it could just be at the end of this video so stay tuned I 
haven't decided whether I want to clean it all out and put everything back um, in different orders. Just, just, just a nice change. Um, yeah, and I got a lot of shoes that are just sitting there on the side that I need to put in my closet. So, but I'm so glad that I decided to let go of some of these pieces because they were just sitting there. And as much as I love them, realistically, I don't use them. It's a really bad habit of mine not using the items that cost a fortune. Um, but I'm getting better. <laughs> You know, honestly, the one item that I use all the time is this little handbag. It's just easy on the go and I just, you know, don't care if I hit it or destroy it. Um, it's one of my favorite pieces from Louis Vuitton from years ago and I still love till this day. Um, but yeah, it's just a really bad habit of mine of just not wanting, not, not necessarily not wanting to use it, but I never reach for it and... That's the reason why I thought to myself, I'm not going to reach for it now. Will I reach for it later? You know? So, yeah. You'll see. It's fairly condensed to a good amount right now um, with all the handbags that I have. And I'm happy that I decided to let them go. And now I have more room to fill it, which is either a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> it's a cycle. I know. It's a bad cycle. Mm. M Ms. Mm. Yes. Just a little chocolate, sweet. Have this chocolate. It's so good. There is Emma. Here she comes. Time. Oh, the bathroom upstairs kind of leaked, so it started dripping. Our worst fear was like, oh my god, the roof is leaking again. But no, it's just my bathroom. Our toilet wasn't sealed properly, so it kind of like leaked down when I used the hose. So I gotta repaint the top. And that is it. It wasn't a huge, huge issue. It just started leaking and then we fixed it right away. Luckily, we caught it in time before it started making a puddle. Um, that's why the ladder's there by the way. Anywho, <laughs> I'm gonna go and continue my cleaning and organizing in my room. I think I'm gonna pull all my dresses and pants that I haven't like worn and kind of like reorganize it. The kids are in their room and Emma has a play date so she's gonna hang out with her friend for a little bit while I clean up and then maybe later I'll take the girls down for some ice cream or something. Um, yeah, because the sun is up. I haven't seen the sun in a while and it was cloudy earlier and it was dark and the sun's trying to wow it's blue skies look at that nice I have a pile of donation from earlier down in the corner there and let's finish this up so I don't have to do it tomorrow Almost done. This sweater is too hot. Goodbye. This is one of the dresses I think I'm gonna take to Hawaii, but I'm gonna do a little altering because I actually don't like the sleeves here. I'm gonna cut the sleeve off and this will cover kind of like sleeveless almost. That would be a lot cuter. I don't really like long sleeves to be honest. I always roll my sleeves up with all my sweaters and yeah, I think I'm gonna do that. I actually did this with this dress. This dress is one of my favorites, so cute. Got it from a few years ago. I actually cut the long sleeves off and it's so much better and cuter without the sleeves. So this is what I'm going to do with this dress. So I'm gonna keep this aside and try it on and maybe pack this for Hawaii. Look at the light, the sun's going down. Turn the light on. It's a little yellow, but that's okay. So I'm gonna keep this aside. Another vacation dress. This is so light. Also white. You see the trend? I love white dresses. 
beautiful dress from Zara, but I've never worn it. I've been waiting for the right occasion to wear this. I don't know when I'm going to wear it, but it's such a cute like baby doll style, but a longer version. This I found, I think I'm going to take to Hawaii. And I absolutely love, and I think I bought all the colors in the slip dress from Aritzia. Yep, 11 slip dresses. Yes, I know. When I like something, I stock up in every color that I like. So this is going to be reorganized. Oh, never mind. I lied. I have more than 11. <laughs> yeah. My favorite is this mint green one here. My absolute fave. <laughs> Last trousers to place. Put it all the way in the back here. I still have this whole pant section here to reorganize. Right here. I mean, there's not really much else for you to see. Like, in terms of my organization, I like to do it by sleeve length and color as much as, as possible, the closest color to them. So that way it's a little bit more organized and I'm gonna go through these and flip flip the inside out ones too because for some reason most of them are inside out because maybe I try it on put it back without you know putting it back properly but all my t-shirts are organized and um, folded and scrunched together so which is good actually gonna take out a bunch of sweatpants that I haven't worn in a while that will definitely be a lot more than dresses because dresses I find that I can keep it for years to come because they're a classic piece especially the slip dresses and some of my vacation dresses the light ones that I'm going to be wearing hopefully in Hawaii I haven't decided which pieces I'm going to bring but um a lot of skirts down here too so yeah skirts shorts and this whole pile section, I don't know what's going on here, but yeah, I'll clean that up. It is finally reorganized, refolded, and now it's breathable. It's more breathable. I didn't clean out a whole lot. I just took the pieces that are a little bit older, but kept the classics. I have a bunch that are like in the same color or not the same color, same style, but different color. Um, a lot of that. So that's why it's taking the space in this closet. Um, so bottom start here, I'm going to start here. This is all of the shorts here, shorts and then skirts. I pretty much organized it by lengthwise. Same thing as a top, all the shorter tanks and then the longer just follow with sleeves and stuff like that. Kind of kept all the styles together so that I know there's, I guess, multiple of the same shirt. Like these shirts are all the same, just in four different colors. Same thing with the front here. So you can kind of see the pattern. I like to stock up the ones that I love most. And slip dresses, I talked about it earlier. These are great to have in your closet to throw on with blazers. Cute little dress for dinner. So yeah, sleeve length. And that way I find it a little bit more breathable when you walk because I have a narrow closet so when it's like in your face it kind of gets in your way so I like to have a short sleeve and then followed by longer sleeves at the end. I did go through my pants and denim here refolded and took out I think five or six pairs of pants that I haven't worn in a few years so got rid of those and then kept the ones that I use um, most or daily wear in the reachable areas. Same thing with my t-shirts and these these are all t-shirts from big tees, everyday tees, graphic tees, and crop tees and then my sweaters are still at the bottom because I'm still going to be wearing it on and off 
So yeah, that is pretty much it. And then this section is my go-to section. These are all shorts, biker shorts, workout shorts. And then I have a couple leggings here on the side. And this is tank tops and daily wear. And then I just have an empty slot for like my daily wear. Like when you go out for a quick run, you put on your good clothes and then come home, change into your home clothes. So that's what I like to do. And I just throw it on there. And that is it. That's my main closet. The other closet is all my winter stuff that I stored away earlier. Now I'm going to work on my handbag section. Emma has decided to join the club and organize her room. So I bought these vacuum seal bags. We are going to get rid of, well, not get our store away some of her bigger squishmallows. We already started with the giant two packs here. These are great if you are not ready to let go and she is not ready to let go yet. So there's like a really big one in here and two medium size squish mellows here. This is the biggest one that she has. One of the biggest. So look how huge this is. It's taking a lot of space in her room. Um, but yeah, she has decided to store some of it away for now until she's ready to let go which is a step because she has a lot. Um, we got carried away. I think we just started collecting because I was like, oh, these are so cute. You need to have them. So it runs in the family. <laughs> Get all of them at once. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is fun. It's like, I'm going to show you guys how amazing this is. I've never used one. This is something that you should think about if you like, are wanting to do a little bit of cleaning up. Stick this big one in here. Snowball is so serious. Wow, look at that bag. Thank you very much. How many is in here? I don't know. A lot. Four bubbles. There's a good amount in here. Can I put it there? Yep. <laughs> this is a fun part. Okay, go. Hold it tight. <laughs> I want to just suck the air out of the bag. So good. It doesn't bulge in like a weird way. Look at that! So impressed. Okay, and then we're good. And then it just stops the air. I ain't never been one to not follow the signs. You're looking like a one way. Gotta make the right choice. Hope I make the right noise. Hoping that you like boys like me. Feeling me from across the room. I got a feeling you could be my muse. I hear strange when I see you. You say green, but I see blue. Either way, your eyes the ones I'm looking to. When I'm hell first, falling from heaven, baby. You need to get it. They don't wanna love you the right way. He ain't gonna. Alright you guys, that is it for me for today's cleaning. <laughs> I am tired and I think I might change a few things around just because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep the colors in this corner. But it is a nice little refresh um, because everything was set up since we moved. So looking at the setup I have right now, it is a nice change. So I might switch it around a couple months or so. You know, change is good. Um, and you might have noticed that a couple of handbags is missing. So I'll share with you guys in the next video as to why I let them go. In the beginning of the video, I thought I was going to do with that at the end here. But I think I'm done for today. So thank you so much for watching. I hope this encouraged you guys or motivate you guys to spring clean because spring is just around the corner. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.